Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Nesto. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna do a quick video just to show you guys my uh, my tool backpack that I use for like doing handyman stuff mostly on TaskRabbit. But first I also wanna thank you guys for subscribing. I just passed the 200 subscriber mark and I'm, I'm really uh, I'm really grateful for that. I appreciate you guys subscribing. So uh, I saw that and I was like, I should, I should, you know, get on something and make, make some type of video. So uh, I'm just going to do a quick uh, backpack um, tour, whatever you call it. Uh, I'm going to try to make it quick. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to drag it out too long, but uh, this is, uh, this is my tool backpack. I, I take it on every job and it's, uh, it's most, it's mostly hand tools. And then I have other bags and other cases that has drill bits and and you know all these other things I need to carry saws and all that stuff. So this is a very small part, but uh, I take but I could do a lot with it, and I take it on every job. So all right, so here it is. This is the one I take everywhere. This is the uh, custom leather craft I guess it's called. It's got um, this outside pouch, a pocket right here, and then two two things, and then some things on the side over here. So I'll just start with the outside. Over here it has like a, a, a thing for the tape measure, but I actually just, I just put it in here. This is where I keep the tape measure. Uh, my utility blade. And also the little uh, little box of utility blade knives. Yeah, so I'll just show you real quick. And I got the Milwaukee 30 foot. Um, I just, I bought it and you know, it's, it's never stopped working. So I've never had to buy another one. But uh, I, I don't need 30 feet. And like, uh, I don't know if I told you guys, but like once I was hanging up curtains and like I dropped it and it's like, it's so like heavy, like it damaged the floor. I had to go back and repair the floor. I got this Husky uh, box cutter, utility knife. I use it, I use it uh, every day basically. So, sorry, so that's that. Uh, out here on this, on this pouches, I don't keep much. I have a little dust pan. That I bought at the Japanese dollar store, Hello Tokyo, and I have a a Craftsman hammer. It's pretty old, as you can see. Um, I mean, if Sears was still alive, I could probably go and swap it out, you know, but they're not. And then, then the dustpan I use it a lot for when I drill holes. I keep it I keep it handy here because when I'm drilling holes. I just grab the dust pan and I just put it up underneath the where I'm drilling the hole and it catches most of the dust. Over on this side, I got a couple pencils. And then I have the Klein 11 in 1. You know, it's like this is like the this is like the best screwdriver in the freaking world. It's like the sturdiest, most useful, you know, cuz it's got like the, the things and then it also has this little when you take this out, that little socket works as like a 516 or something. It's just, it's just, it's, it's the best one. All right, so let me just open this up. Mm -hmm. All right, so there you go. It's, uh, this, this part folds up. And, uh, and then the other part, it folds back. So it opens up completely if I needed to. So here, small little crescent wrench it's like a what, what is it a uh, six inch six inch crescent wrench very useful i have like a giant crescent wrench in my in my, in my garage i think but I've, i haven't had to use it so this little one that's all i need here's one i had this is an 11 one client but this one was with uh it came with this uh this is for valves and then this is for I forgot what this is for. It's for reaming something. I forgot what it was. Oh yeah, dude, that's gross, right? Remember when I, I I hurt myself? Like it's now it's like, you know, healing, but it looks gross. Uh, regular uh, Phillips head, scissors, a smaller Phillips head. Uh, I got two pliers here. One long needle nose plier one of those two long screwdrivers one flat and one um uh, phillips and sometimes i use i'll like i'll grab like uh, you know when you do a chandelier or a light fixture and it comes with the adjustable chain 
I'll just grab it with like this. I'll grab the, the link, the chain link. I'll grab it with this and I'll stick this one in it and I'll just like pry it open side to side. Uh, these are a couple of uh, small, really small ones, uh, screws, screwdrivers, a set of Allen, Allen keys. Uh, we call it standard or whatever, standard metric, not, not metric, standard. My stud finder. This is like, you know, I use it so much and it's so valuable. I don't think I have anything in here. Nope. All right, so that's that That's that end of the, of the thing. Let me do this, let me flip it around so you guys don't get all dizzy though. All right, so so then on the, uh, on the, on the, the face side of the, of the bag, in this pouch, it's got a clear pouch, I put all the electrical stuff in it. So it has uh, electrical tape, some um, Pressman, uh, what do you call these? Um, wire strippers, wire cutters, and then a, and then it has like a bunch of little, a bunch of um, what do you call these? Wire uh, wire caps. And um, I also, you see, I don't know if you saw, this, there's a little screw. I also, you know, I tend to keep like a lot of little tiny screws that that you use for light fixtures and stuff. And I I have like another in my other bag. There's like there's like a pile of them and. Sometimes you you know you don't you don't have what you need, and you have to kind of uh, retrofit stuff. And you know they, they, the ones that they supply are, are like too thick for the for the, the junction box they have, or or you need extra long ones because they added more they added more drywall or something. You know, so I like to just keep keep things like that around. I got this uh, this level, this husky level. That's that's used very frequently. And then these pockets. I got the laser level. A Ryobi laser level and over here I have my headlamp you know uh, when you're changing lights out or something you you might need it you, you might be in a room where once they shut the power off it's, it's too dark all right so that's that I'm gonna open up the back So you can see in the back is where I keep my drill and my driver. This is my drill. Craftsman drill. I mean, it hasn't, you know, however, whatever brand you want, like, I mean, this one, you know, people be like, oh, well, the wall's better. But like, yeah, but, you know, like what, how much power do you need or how much, you know, how much, like this is already going to last as long as it needs to, you know, like I already got my money's worth, like, you know, so many times over. And uh, I don't like yellow. I don't like yellow. I don't like um, the Milwaukee one. Like I got this this driver, this Craftsman uh, driver. And I love it, dude. I don't know why I like the, I like the, the, the profile of it. I don't like it. I don't want it too like, you know, like the Milwaukee ones like salt thin and stuff. Like I like this one, it looks like a giant cylinder. I think it's dope. So those are the ones I have. I use them every day. Let me flip this bag over. And on the other side of the drivers, I have a lot of pliers. So these are vice grips. I can't even remember the last time I used them. I haven't, I haven't had to use vice grips for anything. I have some, um, I think these are Klein. These are like you know my dad's super old ones or something like that, and I just I just kept them. Uh, these are tin snips. They're used for like uh, they're all dusty, they're all dirty. They're used for cutting metal work, like uh, duct work, and uh, it comes in handy for so many things that anything that's like aluminum or anything like that. Like the other day when I did that closet uh, closet rail, I had to cut it. I just used those instead, and it worked a lot better. I got my pair of uh, linesman's pliers. These are good for tying, you know, uh, when you're doing electrical, like grabbing the wires, uh, tie, uh, twisting them up. And uh, these are, you know, I bought these from Walmart, I think. So they're like Stanley. They're like, they're, you know, they're not a, a crazy brand, but it's like, it's solid steel. Like I can't, I can't 
see where they would mess up this design. So, that over here, got my channel locks. Uh, I've used it a couple times, but not, not that much. Over here, I got some, some other um, side cutters. Oh, yeah, that's what these are called side cutters. Um, but this one is uh, a compound one. So when you cut, like it, this little extra arm, it provides more leverage and it makes it easier to cut like a uh, thicker wire or whatever. So that, I use that a lot. And then over here, this is not, this, this is not really uh, organized or anything. Like I said, I keep my drill bits in another place. These just happen to end up here, but these are for, these are masonry drill bits. If I gotta do any, if I gotta drill into masonry and then over here, I have this one, which is very important. And this is not, this is like the cheapest one I have. I also have like a Milwaukee one and like uh, another one that's, that's really nice, but I can't find them. So I got this really cheap one and this is for putting into this uh, driver and then you could add a, you know, whatever the socket is. You could add sockets to it and, and uh, well, actually this is, yeah, this is not even the right one. I have to go find my, my other ones before I do my next TV install. Dude, this one's for like the tiny sockets. Yeah, but that's it guys. You know, this is another socket. But that's it. That's it for that. Like, I take this everywhere. I take this to every job. It's Cause sometimes, you know, when you put, I put this on and it has a strap and they just, they just buckle, just buckle and and they buckle together and it gives, it gives you nice support across the chest. And I use that because uh, sometimes I have to walk really far from where I parked to, to the, the client's house. And, you know, I, I got tired of walking all sideways trying to hold my heavy tool bags. So I put this on. The other bag is like a duffel, duffel bag type of, type of tool bag. And, uh, you know, I'll load that up like kind of if I, if I know what the job is and I know I don't need a lot of the things, I'll just, I'll just take out all the drill bit. Um, you know, whatever thing, whatever heavy thing I, I, it's in there, I'll take that out and I'll just, I'll make it as light as possible. But that's it guys. That's my tool. That's my handyman tool backpack. I definitely recommend this backpack, you know, and I definitely recommend any of the tools that I showed you because they wouldn't be here if they, if they weren't any good. And it's kind of weird. I got a lot of craftsman stuff, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, it's pretty weird, right? Like nobody has craftsman, which is kind of why I like it. I don't want to be too uh too mainstream you know yeah guys but that's it man thank you so much for subscribing again i really appreciate being over 200 subs and uh i'll make another video soon take care guys